What is up guys? Today I'm at Little Walk here in Pattaya, Thailand for a local car meet. And of course, we have some pretty girls here and a V8 BMW E30, but it is not cream pie. I did not bring cream pie with me, but this is my E30's little brother. And it is also a wide body V8 BMW E30, but it uses the Toyota UZ. It's what's found back in the US. You got it in the Lexus SC400s and LS400. It's a very popular engine here in Thailand. It's kind of like Thailand's LS. They put this engine in almost everything. Pistons, rods, and a couple turbos, and they make like 800 horsepower. Yeah, this entire complex, Little Walk, has been overtaken by cars. This is kind of like an annual thing here in Pattaya, Thailand, where we have a little local car meet. Uh, all the car guys here in Pattaya, we do this every year. So I guess we'll start here with this row of cars and make our way around. There's some really good ones here, some really nice Mazda RX-7, Skylines, a bunch of good stuff. 350Z, it's a really, really nice Porsche Boxster. What was that? Oh, some rice on a motorbike. Anyway, you know, these Porsche Boxsters, you know, the, the early gen ones are definitely not something you would consider popular. People know them as like hairdresser cars, but this one is really, really nice. And the reason I like this one so much is because of the wheel, tire, brake, and just the whole wheel fitment is really nice. A really nice set of OZs and a set of Porsche big brake kit. So that Porsche big grip, big brake kit is obviously off something like a 911. It's a really nice Mercedes. The guy that owns this car owns a detailing center and wrap center here in Pattaya. So you'll see that car around quite often. What is that? You see that? What is that thing? It's a Honda. And it has DC5 Integra Type R wheels on it. What is that thing? What the hell? I've never seen one of those in my life. There's no badge on the back. Bro, what is that? The hell? Okay. So this is a really nice 350Z. It's a Pandem wide body kit on this Z. And I really, really dig the color. And kind of the complete opposite of that is you have the very much OEM plus stock body S13, factory color on bronze T37s. Super clean and will never go out of style. And then check this out guys. I have waffle in the house. This is my own personal car. My fully restored electric blue Evo 9. And it is looking blingy blingy in these beautiful lights. Next to that, you have a couple Zs. Red Z and a blue Z, both 350s. Uh, if you know me for pre-YouTube, I was a very big Z guy. I love Zs. I had two Nissan 350Zs and I had a 2019 Nismo 370Z. Love the cars. I think they're very underrated. They have a great chassis, great steering. They they're really are great cars. They don't make a ton of horsepower, but they're great cars for like just track day stuff or driving in the mountains. But unfortunately here in Thailand, they're kind of expensive for what they are. Like a nice Z, like this red one here, would sell for 30 to 40,000 US dollars. Yes, for a 350Z. So, I just can't do it. Whoa, I just noticed this, this blue Z. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Wow, what a crazy color. I hope that's coming off on camera. It is definitely a wrap. Speaking of cars that are an insane amount of money for what you get, this thing here in Thailand sells for used, sells for 
forty thousand dollars. I know you probably think I'm I'm lying, but no, you can look it up, <laughs> Google it. Price of a GT86 in Thailand. They're not much car for the money back in the U.S., but here they are insanely expensive. I do like uh, this BMW. What is, is this a E90? I'm pretty sure it's an E90. For being a BMW owner, I really don't know much about BMWs. But the great thing about this BMW is the color. I love the gray with the apex wheels. And look at this. Look at the highlighter yellow Brembo big brake kit on it. It's a very nice car. It's even nicer is that. Look at that thing. Holy crap, that is a nice R33. These cars are not really very loved in the Skyline community, but this particular R33 is, this thing is sick. I love the Nismo livery, the white with the Nismo livery. And then of course, rocking the black Nismo. What are they? Uh, LMGT4s, I think. Nice Super, Mark IV Super. My personal dream car. My New Year's resolution for 2024 is to buy a Mark IV Super. I just, I have to have one. It's a very unique color, definitely not factory color. Nice work wheels. When I buy my Supra, my Supra is going to be, I like Royal Sapphire Blue. I want Royal Sapphire Blue, stock body, stock wing, lowered nice wheels. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. Even here, we have a couple models that just come out for... Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. Okay, where are we going next? I think our plan is, there's some really nice cars here. You see those cars? They're nice. We're going to get to those. Our plan is we're going to go down this row, around, and then in there. So let's do it show you a very cool motorbike that's owned by one of my very good Thai friends. Check that thing out. How cool is that? It's like a super customized ruckus. And I love the, like, the, the, the color scheme of this bike. The gray with the red. It pretty much matches my Yamaha X-Max. Recently, my buddy that owns this bike we were cruising together like on John TM Beach Road. And we both have gray motorbikes with red wheels. I have my Yamaha X-Max. He has this thing. I've ridden this. I look ridiculous on it, by the way. Way too tall for it. He has that. And then he also has this. Pandem EG. This is his car. Really, really nice Pandem EG on work wheels. I've said for years that if you're coming to Thailand and you want uh, like a cool car and you're on a budget, you're on a small budget, the EG is hands down the best car you can buy. On the flip side of that, uh, the S14 is obnoxiously expensive. These S14s here, a decent one, $50,000. $50,000 for an S14. I mean, this one's a nice one, but would you pay 50 grand for that? I'm gonna go no. What else? Evo crew rolling in. I really like this Evo 5. Silver Evo 5 on the bronze wheels. Look at how clean that thing is. Uh, my buddy who organizes this event uh, has a very, very nice 5 Series BMW that I wanna show you. He's the organizer of this event. So this is his five series. It's a really, really clean five series, nicely stanced on work wheels. And it has a single turbo 2JZ in it. And that's his first car. The very first car he ever owned. He's owned it for 12 years. Those, it's crazy that a BMW was his first car, but here in Thailand, these retro BMWs, like cream pie, like my E30, are surprisingly cheap. 
This is another really nice car. This S13, super, super nice. It has a large group of people around it. So it's very difficult for me to show you the car. But uh, one of my favorite things about this car is the fact that it has these gold RPF ones with the gritty big brake kit. And the gold RPF ones on the red S13 is just such a clean color combo. It's a really nice car. The S13 here is significantly cheaper than these S14s. You can get a really good S13 for about a million baht, about 30,000 US dollars. Super, super nice FD RX-7. This is becoming a huge trend here now. Just super clean, stock body, lowered on nice BBSs in white. When I first got here, all these FD RX-7s were like that one that we saw the one that's over there, the blue RE one. When I first got here, every FDR X7 was super bright colors, wide body, like crazy aero. Um, over the past couple of years, I've seen a shift with the way Thai people are building these FDs and they're building a lot more clean ones. So this is the Honda crew, except for this five series. I don't know what you're doing here. You're not a Honda. I really like the Phoenix yellow coupe on the black spoon wheels with the red Recaro seats and the blue spoon banner. It's very weird. I used to hate Phoenix yellow on everything. Now Phoenix yellow on like 90s Hondas are so, it's, it's nice, I dig it. I don't know why. I used to hate it, like I hated it with a passion. It's a new BYD seal. So this is a Chinese car company, BYD. It stands for Build Your Dreams. And my buddy Hing, you guys know Hing, an epic car collection in Bangkok. He recently bought one of these as a daily driver and uh, I got to ride in it. And I was pleasantly surprised at how nice this thing is. Like the build quality and the design of the interior is far, far better than what Tesla makes. And the exterior, I mean, guys, I think it looks pretty good. And guess what? It's also fast. This thing is a dual motor with 560 horsepower. It's basically like the Chinese version of a Tesla Plaid. This is also a BYD. This is like uh, another model that they have. It's, um, it's like a small SUV crossover thing. Look at that Civic sedan. That thing is hammered on air ride and super wide body. That thing's crazy looking. Oh, of course it has a Jay-Z in it. I was looking at this car earlier and it super confused me because if you look at it, it looks completely stock on the exterior and even has the stock wheels. Like it has the stock 17 inch Mercedes wheels. But then when you look on the inside, it's fully gutted and caged with a single race seat. And I was so confused by this thing earlier, but now that he popped the hood, it's got a Jay-Z, which honestly is not surprising because here's the thing, that BMW, the five series BMW that's owned my, by my buddy Tom, it also has a Jay-Z. There are probably more classic BMWs and Mercedes in Thailand with Toyota engines than they are with their original engines. I'm gonna get hit by a CRV. Of course, what would a Thai car meet be without an Isuzu D-Max? This thing has, dude, this thing has Lexan glass, a single Kirky aluminum race seat, and it's on drag radials. Okay you might not want to mess with this D-Max. Check out his, uh, his intake. Nice. I've ridden in some of these D-Maxes that will surprise you. These things can be fast. I've ridden in some that are legit 10 second street trucks, like full blown street, street trucks that run deep into the tens in the quarter mile. Like, Super impressive. 
out of a four-cylinder turbo diesel. Pretty cool car, mate, huh, guys? Okay, we're going to go up this way. So this place is called Little Walk, and it's basically just a shopping shopping center here in Patia. Dude's got his souped up PCX. Yeah, buddy. Give it a little mum mum. Oh yeah. I'm just trolling. RX7 or R RX8 over there. Excuse me. Don't blame me. It was just a mistake. I had my mind on RX7s because look at these two things. Holy shit. Look at these things. Is that not sick? Remember, remember what I was just saying just a couple of minutes ago about how most of the FDs here are like crazy, insane, wide body, like RE type of stuff. This has been the trend here for many, many years. Now, lately, a lot of these guys are switching their build style to that OEM plus style that you saw with that white one. And look at this. Yeah, buddy. Rocking that CB decal. People always ask me how you can get a CB decal. Just walk up to me and go, Chad, can I have a CB decal? That's how you get one. These guys rolled in together and they were just brat brapping like maniacs. I posted a video of the roll in on my Instagram story. So go check that out. Instagram Chad B photography. The link is in the video description. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, guys. I'm doing my best this coming up year to post a lot more on Instagram. Post not only stories, but also more photos and videos. I'm actually, I took some photos of this event, just some photos of the cars, and I'm gonna post that on IG as well. Look at this, somebody brought out their race car. Like legit, serious race car. It's crazy that the most race car thing here is a Toyota Yaris, but this is actually a real race car. I mean, Lexan, single seat, cage, all this. Got a big Lang. The most race car thing at this meet is a Yaris. Hilarious. This is pretty cool. My Volkswagen people, people say all the time, where's the Volkswagen scene here? Look at this thing. Did we have these in the US? I don't think we had these cars in the United States. So this is a Gulf station wagon, right? I think that's what this is. And I'm pretty sure that we did not have these cars in America. Yeah. Golf GL VR6. It's a Golf wagon. What is this? Mark 4, I think. Mark 4. My buddy's 350Z. This Z is super, super nice. It's turbocharged. It's turbocharged Z, which you don't see that often here. And this car has, I think it's what's called the Super Legera kit with Advan GTs. And I want you to look at the brake kit. Look at the brakes. You see that? I don't know if you can tell with the caliper. You see that V? Cadillac CTSV big brake kit on that 350Z. It's a nice Z. Some more EGs. This one's pretty unique because it is a wide body kit but it's molded, obviously on air ride. And this is, yeah, that is paint. That is paint, not a wrap. Fully molded wide body, nice. This car is giving me like, this car is, this car is giving me like Nopey vibes. Like late nineties, early 2000s, like Nopey vibes. I like it. Another EG, another wide body EG, Pandem, but this is definitely not molded. Such a cool car for the money. 
So I saw these guys roll in and they're uh, some foreigners that are also rocking some custom cars. So they have like a VIP Corolla, which is pretty sweet. And then that very, very, very pink Mini Cooper. Look at this thing. Obviously on air ride, nice wheels. Oh, I just noticed the interior with the Recaro seats. And look back there. At first I thought those were nitrous bottles, but that's just the air ride system. It's a pretty pimp Mini. You know, Mini Coopers are very popular here. Like the Boxster, they don't have a uh, like hairdresser like energy to them. Uh, minis here are actually kind of expensive. And if you own a Mini, people are like, oh man, nice Mini. But Minis are like cool here, which is weird. This is something that you definitely don't see often in Thailand. What is this called, guys? In the US, we call it an SC300. If it has a 2JZ, if it has the V8, it's called an SC400. But I'm pretty sure here it's called a Toyota. What do they call it here and in Japan? I don't even remember. New Gen Mustang 5.0. Things like $150,000 here for that. Ridiculous. Oh, cool. He has a GT500 front end. And we're about to get to two of my favorite cars. Another RE FDR7 and a Skyline R34. Yeah, this RE FDR7 is super nice. It's a great color combo. Normally, I'm not a fan of like baby blue, but for some reason, it just works on this car. And then we have a beautiful all black murdered out R34 Skyline GTR on black Nismo wheels. Man, that thing is sick. What a beautiful car. Okay guys, that is it from Little Walk here in Pattaya, Thailand. I hope you enjoyed this one take and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Peace.